Howdy, you lovely, lovely lot. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Um, oh, tell you what, yesterday was a real turning point. Hello, Courtney. Welcome, welcome. Um, yesterday's uh, daily prayer message was quite a long one, so it was actually a huge epiphany for me. Um, I'm still researching the whole thing around Eve convincing Adam to eat the apple and, and what exactly happened there. And of course, I don't think any of us really know, do we? Because it's hearsay. But um, essentially what came to me yesterday in terms of actually how we misperceive something and then how that can actually affect the whole of our lives and the way we perceive life is huge. So for me, it was a huge shift to take the blame out and to really move away from this concept of, of, a, of fear, a God that we should fear to a God we should love, being that that divinity is within us. Anyway, I'm going to move into the daily prayer and explain it, because basically yesterday was, a, like I said, a huge turning point. Something massive happened where, for me, a vision that I have been having, sort of, I met some, some something in the physical, a woman in the physical that is co-creating this, and the invitation to get on board with it. So it's like, wow, choice point, co-creation, divine design timeline, and you're going to step in, you're going to step up, you know, what it is, is phenomenal, like it's a leading edge, cutting edge, well-being, retreat space centre here in Grand Cayman, and it's like the potential to affect change the way I've been seeing to affect change is just phenomenal. So I've stopped going, I can't believe it, I can't believe that just happened, did you see that just happened? And I've just come to a point where I'm like, everything is a response to this. We knew, we knew it, I've been teaching it for a long time, but it really is. So let's go into the prayer and then I'll explain the shift. Hey, Inda, welcome, welcome, or Inda, Linda, Inda, Inda. So, good afternoon, diamonds. So, we take a leap into love, leaving fear behind like an outworn glove that never fit, we just put up with. Now, as we align with our divine design, we learn discernment. Not all that glitters is indeed gold. How long has that story been overtold? What does it feel like to be led by bright light, beckoning our souls to align with the divine, with the highest good of all, the win-win-win? This is the intentional goal we are intending. Trust that what feels right in my heart is what is needed to ignite your divine spark. As we all evolve into the divine humans, we are here to behold. We learn the secret of co-creating with ease. Feel what you want and invite grace to lead. Hello Bunty. Us with the, where we most need to see and be. Inside ourselves so it can manifest easily. I am love light, manifesting my divine design. I am that, I am. So I was reminded by my teacher, Susanna, I had an amazing conversation with my teacher, Susanna, who also wants to work with me and we want to do some really nice co-creations together. Do you know what, like, what an honour that is? Five years ago, you know, I stumbled on this woman through my through Bruce Lipton's work and basically I've just been diligent. Here's the, the secret to my success is diligence. Don't give up. And thank goodness for Ian as well in the sense that I was ready to just blow something out yesterday because I just really hadn't, I didn't know what was going on. So I was just like, surrender, surrender. And he was just like, no, go. Uh, get on with it. Take some decisive action. And that's the masculine that steps in that goes, no, 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 now's the time to act. It's not a time to be passive. It's a time to act. Just bite the bullet. So there's been a lot here that I've had to do in terms of whether it's walking out of the apartment facing the snake fear in the middle of the jungle, whatever it is, it's been like, just keep putting one foot in front of the other, keep aligning with the design, divine design, keep remembering you are safe, keep pulling in the frequencies you want and shining them out. And it has been a bit of a, an ordeal in the sense that it's been, it, it, was a, it was a few days of really having to remember everything I've learned and to just really stick to it. And we do that every time we go through an upgrade, we're going to have some kind of breakdown, breakthrough, right? So just really be mindful of yourself. Quite a few of my co coaching clients have also just had a huge leap. So let's read it again and pull it apart a little bit. Uh, anyone who's got any insights they'd like to share, particularly how things have shifted in the last 24, 36, 48 hours, be good to know because this moon is a super moon. It's doing some very deep clearing. Good afternoon, diamonds. So, we take a leap into love, leaving fear behind like an outworn glove that never fit, we just put up with. 
Now, as we align with our divine design, we learn discernment. Not all that glitters is indeed gold. That pisses me off, that saying. <laughs> How long has that story been overtold? What does it feel like to be led by bright light, beckoning our souls to align with the divine? <sighs> with the highest good of all, the win-win-win. This is the intentional goal we are intending. Trusting that what feels right in my heart is what is needed to ignite your divine spark. As we all evolve into the divine humans we are here to behold. We learn the secret of co-creating with ease. Feel what you want and invite grace to lead. Us where we most need to see and be inside ourselves so it can manifest easily. I am love light, manifesting my divine design. I am that I am. So it was Susanna that reminded me and all of the Light Body Adventure team yesterday that we are beings of love light. This is what we are here for. Like yesterday we got a whole load of information I need to listen to again about different star constellations and us connecting to our star family and obviously we have soul family as well. Now whilst I've been here in Grand Cayman I have honestly felt my mum around so much. It's been really weird. It's 10, ten years since she died uh, in May. And it's like, I've literally, almost every day, wanted to pick the phone up and call her. And it's like, this is so weird. Like, she's not been around and physical for a really long time. But she is here. Like, she is totally here. Like, going, this is the thing, Rose. This is what I've been sending you messages about. This is what you've been getting visions. Every time I was in a high state working with my clients, and I say, I don't mean high as in high. I mean, high frequency state um, working with my clients. I'd get these visions coming in of this paradise island and this place. And I'm like... Paradise, Paradise Island, why would I? Six months ago, obviously, this, this whole thing with Ian happened, and then suddenly I'm in Grand Cayman, and it's like, to say no would have been insane. Like, everything was opening up for me to just say yes. So now we're looking at potentially being involved in a huge, huge thing here that could really shift the world, um, as many other things are on the planet, but it's working with those that will be making the decisions, affecting policy, affecting government shifts, affecting health education, affecting everything. So, you know, I'm feeling feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit like, whoa, this is massive. Of course I was fearful of it. But as you step into your bigness and you just realise what you know, what you've gathered in all the years of whatever path you've been on, in the end you just have to step up, you just have to show up and be your best, that's all it is, be your best, we all have our shadow, we all have stuff we're working on, that's just what happened. So I'm going to read the prayer again, um, and I might just leave it there because I think there's been a lot, like yesterday's one, yesterday's prayer was really biblical, there's a lot of snake energy, and snakes are transformational energy, you know, they are phenomenal creatures. Um, what was happening for me was like I was hearing one minute that they're just garden snakes and the next minute there's four indigenous types of snakes to this island and then there's other snakes like cobras that have come onto the island and they've been um, hybrid mixed so there's cobra garden snakes around <laughs> and I was just like oh, I don't like snakes. Um, however, I have lived in Singapore, I have lived in Australia, I have lived in Sri Lanka for some time. I've been around places that have lots of snakes, right? So... Um, this was really about attitude adjustment. So just remember that the worse it gets, the worse it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets. So if you are on a trajectory where you're going under, just bring yourself back, okay? Like start to look for where you have power. And where I had power was to shift my vibration. I had to own the fear. I had to accept myself through that fear, love myself through that fear, even if I was having the piss taken out of me, even if, you know, I felt like others would, would not accept this in me. I still needed to accept myself and through that process this is what happened so this is how the transformation occurred and we move from the fear to the love so one more time good afternoon diamonds so we take a leap into love leaving fear behind like an outworn glove that never fit but we just put up with now as we align with our divine design we learn discernment not all that glitters is indeed gold how long has that story been overtold? What does it feel like to be led by bright light, beckoning our souls to align with the divine? With the highest good of all, the win-win-win, 
this is the intentional goal we are intending. So just think about that for a sec, okay? If you always align with your divine design timeline, if you always align with a win-win-win scenario, then what you're drawn to, what is beckoning you, is aligned with that. This whole thing about not all that glitters is, is gold, like I did a whole thing in my RISE group yesterday about the Midas touch. We've been taught to be suspicious of good things, right? We have literally been taught to be suspicious of good things. We've been taught if something is easy, there must be something wrong with it, right? That is the conditioning, because all of the religious conditioning is around toil and pain and challenge. And it's like, okay, we've done that. We've done that. We've been the prison planet. We've done the toil. We've done the pain. What does it mean to come back to our divine design timeline, to learn what it's like to co-create with grace and ease? Because we are co-creating with the divine in ourselves and above. This is not blasphemous. This is not against God. This is about us recognising the divinity in us. It, it, my heart just swells as I say this because it's like, this is what's missing. We've all been running around trying to live a life that will make us happy from our egos. And our egos, bless them, they're really limited in their perception, <laughs> really stunted in their growth. So, you know, you can't go wrong with trusting where you're being led to go if you are aligning with the highest good of all. And, you know, this whole thing about, where are we? Intending, okay, so yeah, we get to here. So, the highest good of all, the win win win, this is the intentional goal we are intending. Trusting that what feels right in my heart, once you've aligned with that, is what is needed to ignite your divine spark. So, what is right in my divinity, in my truth, will be what is needed to awaken a truth in you. Sometimes we've got to be the baddie. The baddie is the person that breaks someone's heart or that says, No, I can't go along with that, or No, that isn't right for me right now, or No, sorry, I'm going to have to let you go, or No, something, 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 because this isn't resonating. And it's through listening to this, once you've aligned with the highest good, because you aligned your mind as well with that that you're then able to ignite something in them which will allow them to get into greater alignment with their truth, their divinity, and strip away the conditioning. So that's how we help each other to grow, by being in our truth. It might be painful for someone else initially to accept that truth, but that, that is their growth path. That is, if they open to it, what will lead them to their divinity. So, as we evolve into the divine humans we are here to behold, we learn the secret of co-creating with ease. What, feel what you want and invite grace to lead us where we most need to see and be where we most need to see and be in us inside ourselves so it can manifest easily I am love light that's what we are we're not just light we're not just love we're both I am love light manifesting my divine design I am that I am and that's it so I hope you have a beautiful day, sending you loads of love. Um, if you haven't yet had your cosmic download epiphany, then open to it. Drop into your heart, move out of this bit, talking stories. And just allow yourself to entertain the idea that actually when you align right, you can trust the signs that you're getting from life around you and you can allow yourself to be led by your heart. Love you lots. Bye.